Hello friends. In this session, let's see how to use conditional split transformation in Dataflow task. So let's add a new package into SSIS packages and go to SSIS toolbox and drag Dataflow task into package designer. Now open Dataflow task and configure your source connection. So I would like to configure my SQL Server source. So that's why I choose OLADB source and double click on that and click new. If your connection already exists in the data connection, then choose this one, otherwise click new. Now select your server name. My server name is localhost and connect to your database. So my database is wwi underscore dw, which is wide world importers data warehouse. If you don't have this database set up in your SQL Server instance already, please check my videos on how to set up this free sample wide world importers data warehouse released by Microsoft uh, in your SQL Server instance. So now choose that one and click OK. Now OK. Now choose your table from this list or select SQL command. Go to your query and copy into SQL command text. Now go to columns and click OK. Now let's uh, select our transformation that is conditional split. So we use this conditional split transformation when we want to split our source data based on conditions. So let's see that in action. So let's map our source data connection to the conditional split and double click to open. Now go to columns. So my task here is to split my source data based on invoice date year and delivery date year as well. So, so my condition here is year of invoice date key equal to equal to 2016. So I want to split my source data up, uh, year equal to 2016. So let's uh, give this output name as 2016 uh, invoice data. Now I also want to split my data based on delivery date key year. Year of delivery date key equal to 2016. So let's give the name like a delivery data. And so based on this whatever the requirement so based on our requirement we can split or you you can write the condition here so that it splits the data based on the condition okay so here i have two conditions one is based on invoice date year and delivery date year which is 2016 so all other uh, data will be will comes to default output name okay so all other uh, which which doesn't comes under these two conditions uh, will go to conditional split out default output. So and you also have configure error output. So so if you click on that, you will see error and truncation. So when you get any error, when you see any error in uh, any of your conditions, then you can configure this error or truncation. If it is an error, then you can configure uh, any alternative in this error. Uh, column here. So if you want to fail the data flow task component, then you can fail, you choose this one. Otherwise, if you want to direct that row into any other uh, destination or table or flat file destination, then you can select redirect row. Or if you want to ignore simply, then you can choose this one. And in case of truncation error, then also you have three options, uh, fail, redirect and ignore. So you will see these two types of er configurations, error configurations pretty much in, in all the data flow ta task uh, configurations and transformations everywhere. Okay, so you can configure like that. And uh, if you want to apply uh, this, the uh, same property across all the uh, conditions, then you can choose here and you can click apply. Now let's cancel it and let's click on OK. Now, so condition split configuration is completed. Uh, now go to SSI toolbox again and select your destination. So my destination here is uh, is uh, 
flat file destination. So let's configure my flat file destination and uh, map your output connection to flat file so that it shows you the output drop down. So in that drop down, it shows all the conditional based outputs here. So you have three because we have two conditions and the default condition is this. So let's choose uh, the one condition, delivery data, click OK. Now double click on the flat file destination and configure your destination connection. Now select, now that is 2016 delivery data dot CSV because uh, that's a CSV format. So I want to comma delimited. So that's why I wanted to store as CSV format. Um, no need to select this one. If, if you enter CSV, like a dot CSV extension, open. Now go to columns and OK. Now mappings and OK. Now double click on the flat fill connection and select column names in the first data row. Because I want to store the column names in the first data row, I'm choosing this one, this checkbox. Now click OK. Now just rename it to rename your connection manager to 2016 delivery data. Now, now let's drag another flat file destination. Or if you want to have uh, two different destinations, then you can also use two different destinations. Let's use Excel destination here in this case. So let's uh, drag the blue color again and now select invoice data. OK. Now Excel. Now new. Now browse. Now choose uh, 2016 invoice data dot xlsx open now ok now let's create a new sheet because that's an excel sheet we have to create it explicitly uh, so it's uh, loading because it's an excel it takes some time so there is no sufficient information about mapping SSIS types to data types of the selected .NET data provider. That means uh, some of these columns data type may not be compatible with SQL Server. That's why it shows that message. So before you click OK, just make sure all the column and data types are uh, compatible with SQL Server. So let's change our table name here to um, 2016 invoice data. So big int is compatible, integer compatible, date compatible, and where care of 100 is compatible, numeric 18 to compatible. So all data types are compatible, right? So let's click OK. Syntax error again, show details. Table create failed because of string method um, so let's check the details again numeric teacher. okay let's change this numeric 18 comma 20 to float 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 okay fine okay okay i forgot we are creating a table in excel not in the sql server right so that's the problem here so let's change this big int to int and click OK. So it's created the table. Now click OK. I'm sorry again, because we are using Excel Connection Manager, we have to make sure the data types are compatible as per Excel connection. So when we use our SQL Server as destination connection, then we have to make sure 
the data types are compatible as per uh, the destination type. So I thought it was uh, SQL Server type, so, so I confused. So it's an Excel connection, so that's why I've changed that big int to integer. So now choose our Excel sheet we have, which created now. So choose this or any one, both are same and go to mappings and click OK. So we configured to, so let's configure 2016 and invoice data. Let's change um, the connection name appropriately. Now that's it. We have done with the condition split transformation and we've mapped that output into two different destinations. Now let's execute our package to execute. Yes, loaded. Now stop it. Yep, data is there. So let's open the file. Okay, data is here. So this is how we use a conditional split in real time. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks a lot for watching my video.